Cote d'Ivoire held its municipal elections on Saturday and the provisional results of almost all the country's regions have been released except that of the Plateau region, Abidjan's business district and the richest commune in the country. Tensions rose a notch high on Sunday after violence erupted in front of the headquarters of the Independent Electoral Commission due to the delay in releasing these results. Clashes with security forces also led to the death of two people who were among among angry supporters of a defeated candidate near Segela in the northwestern part of the country. Doria Yedo, our correspondent in Abidjan, joins us by phone to talk about the happenings uh, there. Good morning to you. Alors, well, thank you. Doro, we have received reports of tensions while the Ivorians await results of Saturday's regional municipal elections. What exactly is the situation? Listen, two days after the double vote tension is rising in some cities in the interior of the country and municipalities of Abidjan economic capital, while the CIS announces the results in droplets. Yesterday, Sunday, two people were killed and several others wounded in clashes between police forces and supporters of an independent candidate. That is in the Segoula region in the west of the country. Les candidats estimant leur victoire volée ont appelé à la contestation. Now, the double ballot should serve as a test for the RHDP and the PDCI, two former allies. Did the battle keep its promises? The battle is being fought in some cities where Abidjan is shared between the PDCI and the RHDP or between the RHDP and the pro soro candidates in the Plateau Commune, the business center of the Abidjan, the um, uh, that is fighting the town hall between the RHDP. The PDCI candidate crying out for fraud and electoral robbery called on his supporters to take to the streets to protest against what his supporters to take, um, that is, the rigged results. Right, another face-to-face -face that has attracted attention is the one between the Defense Minister uh, Hamad Bakayako and Kone Tifo, a pro-Soro independent in the municipality of Abobo. It was a very tense duel with a lot of twists and turns. A supervisor of Kone Tifo was found on the morning of October 14 after he was abducted on election day. Both sides claimed victory. Ahmed Bakayok said celebrated his victory on the evening of October 13 for his part, Kone Tefo, uh, Tefo, before claiming his victory, called on his supporters to appease. I cannot end without pointing out that the commune of Makuri, the hijacking of the ballot boxes by a candidate, created clashes of the Sunday. The CIA, and just to add that the victory has gone to Ahmed Bakayok. Merci beaucoup, Doria, pour toutes ces précisions. Et donc, right, thank you very much for your time and for joining us and bringing us ah, all those details. Ce matin, mais nous reviendrons vers vous lorsque de nouveaux Doria développements Yedo. auront lieu en, en Côte d'Ivoire.